Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the GSC Smart IPTV player on any Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV, or Android TV device. Now, the GSC Smart IPTV player is a live TV player that can be used to pair your favorite live TV service with an improved interface. And you'll see here I have a complete screenshot tutorial that not only provides screenshot steps, but also more information on GSC Smart IPTV. I also have a bunch of frequently asked questions and just any other information you would want to know about this live TV player. But before diving in too much further, it is important to mention that GSC Smart IPTV is available inside the Google Play Store. As you'll see here, it has over 10,000 downloads from Google Play, and because GSC Smart IPTV is inside Google Play, we can be sure that this application is 100% legal to install and use on our device. Now guys, since GSC Smart IPTV cannot be found inside the Amazon App Store, we must sideload this on our Fire Stick or Fire TV device. In this example, I'm using an Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max, but this tutorial will work on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Now the first thing we need to do is from the home screen, hover over Find, click Search, and I'm gonna type in Downloader. So you'll see Downloader pops up here before I finish typing, click Downloader, and then click the orange icon under Apps and Games, click Download, and I'm gonna wait a few seconds for the Downloader app to install. All right, so after Downloader has installed, before launching, I'm gonna click the Home button, and there's a few settings we need to change here. So I'm gonna hover over the Settings icon on my home screen, and I'm gonna scroll down and click My Fire TV. Click About, and then I'm gonna click Fire TV Stick 4K Max, or whatever this says here, until you read the following message. No need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, click the back button, click developer options, click install unknown apps, click downloader, and you'll see we have now turned on install unknown apps for downloader. So we can now sideload third-party applications using downloader. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the home button on my remote. And then I'm going to scroll down and under recently used apps, you should see downloader. Click that to launch it. Click allow. Click OK. And you have now installed the downloader app. Now, guys, after you've installed downloader, simply click the search box and I'm going to enter the following code 298 344. Double check that and click go. And I'm going to wait a few seconds here while you are being redirected to the IPTV Wire Quick Links page. And once you are redirected to our IPTV Wire Quick Links page, guys, the first thing I would suggest doing is going up to the top here and clicking this icon with the three lines. And then I would click Add Current Page to Favorites, click Save, and now our Quick Links page is saved inside your favorites. So to install GSC Smart IPTV, simply scroll down and under Live TV Players, I'm going to scroll back up here, you'll notice it's right here, GSC Smart IPTV. So simply hover over that and press the OK button on your remote and the installation should begin. Wait a few seconds for this application to download. All right, and once the application has downloaded, click Install. And once the application has installed before launching, I'm gonna click Done. And one thing I always like to do, guys, is delete the installation files. So click Delete, click Delete again. And now I'm gonna hold down the Home button on my remote. I'm gonna click Apps. And here you'll see GSE Smart IPTV. So I'm gonna click the Options button with the three lines on my remote. I'm gonna click Move. And then I'm going to drop this towards the front of my Apps and Channels list. So click OK to drop it. I'm gonna click the Home button. And as you'll see here, GSE Smart IPTV is towards the front of my Apps list.
So guys, before launching, it is important to ensure that you are connected to a reliable VPN. Surfshark VPN is our number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire. And guys, I personally do not trust these third-party app developers, and I also don't trust my internet service provider monitoring what I am doing online and being connected to a VPN like Surfshark. I can have peace of mind knowing that my connection to the internet is secure. Guys, we do have a special discount link below this video that does help support me and this channel, so I would appreciate if you guys check that out. So once I'm connected to Surfshark VPN, I'm going to go ahead and launch GSE Smart IPTV. Wait a few seconds here while the application does first launch. It says permission required. Just click OK. Click allow. Click agree. And here you go. The application is now installed. So guys, you'll notice it's pretty overwhelming here with all of the different options. And I think what you guys are most interested in is how do you connect your live TV service via M3U, via Extreme Codes. In this example, I'm not going to actually pair a live TV service, but if you were going to do that, there are different ways. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. And on the left-hand side, you'll notice it says Extreme Codes API. So if your live TV service provides an Extreme Codes API, you would simply click the plus button up here. You would enter the name, you'd enter the server URL, and also the login credentials of your live TV service, and you would click add. And then your service would populate via Extreme Codes. Now, if you guys wanna use an M3U URL or playlist, you would come up here and click Remote Playlists. And here you'd have options. So you'd click the plus button here, and then you have options for an M3U URL or a JSON URL. Here you'd click M3U URL, and this is simply where you would add the M3U URL playlist link, and then you would click add, and then you would have your uh, playlist uploaded within GSE Smart IPTV. So these are just some samples here. Um, so guys, that's it. You have successfully installed GSE Smart IPTV on your Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Again, this is Bodhi. Appreciate you watching this video. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the links in the description below. And I hope you guys have a great day.